And welcome back, class, to Dragon Age Origins Remastered. With the biggest mouthful of a title on YouTube when we left off, which was like three days ago for me. We had just recruited Sir Gilmore to our party. What's that you say, Sir Gilmore? What's he doing here? Well, this is a mod by Immortal, which adds him in as a recruitable party member in uh, here in Lothering. And he stays with your party throughout the game. For some inexplicable reason, they've got him as a sword and board warrior. But I installed character respecialization mod by uh, by Peter Kovacs, and once we find the raven that allows us to respec things, we should be okay. Anyway, let's uh, continue on with our adventure. What are you doing with those? There you go. Uh, we got a crate here. I'll take that. I know you're probably getting some stuff out of it, but it's mine now. Please. We came here to get away from the fighting. I don't want to fight you. You're tiny and useless. Uh, okay, little ginger boy, what's up? Have you seen my mother? No. Well, maybe. I mean, I'm not your mom, but, uh... She's really tall, and she has red hair. Aveline? We live on a big farmhold, all of us. Really? It's the main men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. Right. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Your mom's probably dead. Uh, right. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. Especially not anyone covered in blood. In the village. Alright, fine. Uh... I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're Great. a really nice lady. Kind of like Mother. I'm not your I mom. go look for her. Great. Okay. Uh, where am I going in here? Sir Marin, I vaguely remember I'm supposed to talk to some church person and such forth. Another short bow. Inventory full? Well, that won't do. Uh, hmm. Nope, there's a merchant. So Back oh, off. I have uh -oh. the right to charge what I wish. Oh my. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. Well, you wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods, and I'll clank, clank, it's clank. It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? You sound like a dick. You could say that, yes. I just did. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. You think that would be uncomfortable? It's only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. Well, more than I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. I guess now I shouldn't have sold them, eh? Lives, and you want to talk business? Clearly. Oh, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. Well, I'm that's an not honest really merchant. a lot. Let's see. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Well, they're gone. Nah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Can you just, like, pay less? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Well, Do come what on. you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. God damn, I'm Superman. I'm done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble <laughs> in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. They will be. Thank Just you wait. Generous assistance. Hey, the maker watch, watch those hands. Eyes up here. Alright. Uh, there's a merchant. I'm gonna sell you some stuff. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Nope, I'm looking to sell you everything right. I don't need. Just don't buy everything up. Too late. 
All right, what do I not need? Let's see. Weapons. Don't need that. Uh, do I need that? 11? Nope. I've got one of those. Don't need that. Which one of these is better? 12.1, blah, 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 blah. Messy kills, 5%, 13 points. Ooh. I'll have to fig think about that. No, nope, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maul. Darth Maul. <laughs> yeah, don't need that. I think it's going to be a while before we run across any bows that are better than the one I have. Uh, get rid of that too. Yep, don't need it. Don't need that. And... good. Okay. I don't know what we can or can't sell. Probably that doesn't look very good. We'll just we'll just sell all the cheaper stuff, and uh, that should be plenty. Heavy chainmail can't use that yet. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Tidy profit there. Chastened robes. I'll uh, hang on to that for once I get win. Okay, good, good. Uh, that should do for now. Do you have anything I need? Crossbow or something? I think I need a crossbow for Alistair. Just in case, right? Yeah, I'll take that. Good. And anything here that I can use? No, no. This? No, no. I can use those. I'll take both of those. I'll take both of those. I'll take both of those. Good. Wine. Yeah, you can always use gifts. Swift salve. Don't know if any of this stuff is really helpful to me. Uh, crafting. I don't think I need any of this right now. I'll figure out crafting later. Excellent. Okay, good. Excellent. Alistair, your backup weapon is now this crossbow with these fire bolts. Use it in good health, my friend. And yep, good, great. We're set. Alright, so we can get what's in this barrel finally, which is... Oh, I don't know why I had to walk all the way around. A short bow, which I'm going to turn around and settle this guy. Isn't this exciting? I, you're looking to buy I know, this is the most exciting episode we've had yet. Good. Goodbye. Excellent. Okay, now. The chances are still up. Hi. I lean spoke unto the masses. My half is yours. Okay, My bread great. is yours. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Smile. All repeat the I hate argue. this guy. He's chanted Devons. Yeah, I don't care. Is he stupid? <laughs> no, he's a chanter. Right. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has let us... My father right. fixed... Okay. A learned child yeah. is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Oh my god. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Uh, yeah, that's me. What's on this board? Bandits, bandits everywhere! As transcribed on behalf of Sir Bryant, Templar, Defender of the Faith. Oh. Know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurns bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern woods and roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. <laughs> deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated that there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up another victim to these evil men. The reward for such services is three sovereigns. May the maker look after his children in our hour of need. I'll take it. What else we got around here? We're looking for a raven. Because apparently a raven is what we need to respec. Oh. The legions of evil! Are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There they is sure nowhere will. to run. 
This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. You know what a locust Please, is? scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. Okay. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil spirit. Hey, that's the Can you not see the fire hammer I had for uh What's his name? Fenris. Fenris the Betrayer. Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. That's clearly a hammer. I watch the black horde descend on my people. Oh, racist. Just is swallow the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Okay, crazy person. My family, my clan, those creatures. Spawn. Great. I... I ran. Hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. I doubt it. This hair's from a mod. Are you... calling me a coward? No. Oops. I... I have shamed my ancestors. Yeah, and you've soiled yourself too. God, racist. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're gonna listen to that guy, right? You're right. We can't give up. Never give up. We can't Never fight. surrender. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's leave right now without packing anything. Yeah, that sounds like a great Your plan. King is dead. There is no hope. Who's saying that? Who's saying that? Whatever, I'm taking whatever's in this pile of sacks, which is a leather helm stud. God, where's that raven? Anyway, we're out of time for this episode. When we return, we'll continue our exploration of Lothering. Until then, all the best.